everybody, I am the Lazy Kiwi and welcome to another Create a Sim video. So today we are going to be doing the Pinterest Makes My Sim Challenge. I have not done this before so I'm really excited to do this and from what I've gathered, I've actually not watched any of the videos on this, but from what I've gathered, you go onto Pinterest and you say for example like nose and the first image that pops up of a nose is the one you have to give your sim now i'm not really good at reference pictures so i'm gonna try my best to do this but i think we should just get straight into this i'm gonna take off everything that this sim currently has on and we're going to start off with the skin tone on pinches so once on pinches i'm gonna type in a skin tone to see what we get and the first image that pops up is is obviously this but that is not gonna be viable for what we want to do today so what I'm gonna do if I find something like this is I'm gonna move along until I find one that has just a clear one singular answer so this is the pin that we're gonna be using for today so I'm gonna try to find a skin tone similar to this one and honestly I think this is the closest that I'm gonna get based off of the imagery and the skin tones that I have in my game so we're gonna work with this skin tone and next up we're gonna probably do the face shape and when typing this in we get a lot of different options again that is not just one singular answer. So I think all of these just going down, the first one that has one singular thing is probably gonna be this one. And this one is kind of like a rounded oval shape. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. Now again, I'm not really the best when it comes to reference pictures. So this is gonna be pretty hard for me to try to do, but I think this is close enough to the rounded shape. Like, I don't know, it feels like it looks the same to me, <laughs> I don't know. When doing my Sims faces, I tend to start with the nose, so I think that's where we're gonna start with this one as well. So when just simply putting in a nose, I get this, and I don't know if this is the one that I should use because what am I supposed to do with that? So I'm gonna use this one. I don't know if that's cheating or not, but I'm gonna try to do this. Although I don't know what this is gonna look like from the front. I'll just do something on the side and then hope that it looks decent from the front as well. I don't know if this is exactly right, but I think this is the closest that I'm gonna get. Honestly, like, noses are so hard. I don't know what it is about them. So this is the final result for the nose. I think it's good enough. You guys will have to let me know what you think of it. But now we're gonna do the mouth shape, which is definitely gonna be interesting. And when putting in lips, this is the first one that we find. Very cute. I don't know how I'm gonna do this though, cause it's gonna have to be closed and I, I have no idea how that's gonna look. I think this is honestly a pretty similar shape like with the cupid's bow and stuff. I just have to tweak it a little bit because the upper lip is a lot smaller than the bottom lip. I hope this is more or less the same shape wise. I think it is but I honestly could be wrong. It does look really good so far. We are now however on to the eyes so let's go ahead and get some of those. So this is what I find when searching for eyes, this one being the first one however, and it's really pretty. I think I'll be able to do this. It looks like a pretty simple eye shape. I think this is the right shape. It looks right to me, but again, I might just be biased because I'm doing this and I, I want it to be right, but it looks, it looks good. I don't know. <laughs> so far though, I think she is a Beautiful. I am gonna do these skin details now. There's not really many ways for me to know what to do for skin details for this, like on benches. So I'm just gonna do what I think looks nice. I might, however, look up like a few freckles or something, or maybe beauty spots. So I put in a beauty marks, and the first one I'm getting is kind of this one. So obviously, I'm not gonna be able to do exactly this. 
but I'm gonna try to find something pretty similar. Now this, like I mentioned, is not exactly the same, but I think this has a similar concept, like it has more or less the same amounts, and the placing is also kind of similar with like the spacing between them, so I'm gonna go for this one. I think it looks nice as well, and last but not least for like the facial features, I'm gonna do the eyebrows and the ears, so we're gonna start with eyebrows. So for eyebrows, again, getting a lot of different things. I think I am gonna skip over all of the Sims related stuff. The first one that I'm getting is this one, which is a very classic popular brow shape. I don't know if that's just a really hard shape to get in The Sims or if I just suck monumentally when it comes to shaping eyebrows in The Sims because that was the hardest thing that I've ever had to do and I never want to touch an eyebrow again in my life. I don't even know if this is right but I don't, I don't want to do anything else. Next up, ears. So let's get an image for that. So as suspected, it is very much just a generic ear and I don't really know what to do with this besides just clicking on a preset so that's what I'm gonna do. Wow, OMG, it looks exactly the same. Anyway, now I think we can do the body shape and then is gonna be probably the funnest part. We're going to do the makeup, the hair, accessories, all that jazz and I am so excited for that. So when typing in body, this is what I get. Skipping over these because what am I gonna do with that? We have this one. So this is what I'm gonna be using for today. And to get that, I'm kind of going to click on a few presets, see if I can find anything similar to that. I think this one is gonna work the best. Now I just gotta shape it up a little bit more. I hope this looks right. I think it looks right. Obviously I can't have my sim do that pose, but I think this is more or less what that would look like. So hopefully I got it similar enough. Now on to the makeup. I like to do the makeup before I do the hair because a lot of hair goes like in front of the face and stuff. So let us see what a makeup style this sim is gonna have. Now, <laughs> what, the, what the heck? Okay, anyway, the first one we are getting is this eye, which of course we can't use that again. It is not really makeup. But secondly, we have this, which is beautiful. It's really simple. I think I will be able to do this in The Sims. Not really sure exactly what I can do with this. Now the one problem that I'm having with this is that my sim very obviously has a much darker skin tone. So it is a lot harder to find things that are similar because, it, I mean, she looks beautiful right now, but finding like a dark eyeshadow that would actually show was much more difficult. But I think I did a pretty good job with it. I think it looks kind of similar to the makeup that she, the other girl has on. I do think, however, that I want to change up the eyelashes to be a lot more dramatic. I'd probably go for something like this because that girl has very long bottom lashes and this looks pretty similar, I would say, but this is the makeup look. I love how she's looking and now for the hair. So when putting in hair, this is what I get and this is the first one that shows up. It's like a really cute, simple, short wolf cut. I'm gonna see if I can find something like that. I mean, this is already kind of similar, but I don't really think it fits the vibe. This one as well, pretty similar. Although the one in the picture is pretty much a lot shorter, it's kind of like just about there, which I don't know how easy that's gonna be to find. Now, I don't really want to use this hair. It looks incredible. It's probably the closest that I'm gonna get, but I recently used this on a sim in one of my shorts and I kind of don't want to use it again, but it looks so good on her. It looks incredible. It is also realistically the closest that I'm gonna get for style and length because I do not have a lot of hairs that's this length and more or less in this style, it's hard to find. So I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm just gonna leave it with this one. But now on to the outfit. I think this is gonna be one of the 
most fun parts about this. I'm so excited. And when putting in aesthetic outfits, this is the first one that pops up. And this is honestly such a cute fit. Am I going to be able to do this exactly in The Sims? Definitely not. But will I try my best to do something very similar? Yes, I will. So first things first, I gotta get my girl some overalls because it tends to glitch a little bit with some of the tops. So I gotta find one and then base the top around said overalls. And I know I have a few overalls in my game. It's not just a mission of finding them. This one obviously is not gonna work because it's a skirt overall. This one, on the other hand, much, much closer to the original reference. Now I have to find a sweater that's gonna work with this and that's probably gonna be the hardest part because I still wanna keep the style of the image but let me show you what I mean with it's gonna be hard to find one that's gonna work. Oh, I'm so sad that this is glitching. This was probably the closest that we were gonna get, but now the overalls are being silly. So this is honestly probably the closest that I'm gonna get to the reference picture, color-wise as well as like long sleeve-wise, but I do want to kind of add like that top that she has underneath as well, so I want to see if I can find anything like that. Oh, definitely not that. Even if it's just as simple as some more straps, it just adds that little bit of extra layering that she has. I do also want to add in some headphones because she has in like these little earbuds. And even though these are not earbuds, I quite like them a lot. They give the vibe that they're supposed to give. Adding in earrings and a necklace to kind of also bring in some more more layering and accessories to this. Then she also has a bag. I really want to add a bag, but I do not know if it's gonna glitch with anything. And I think this one, oh, of course, this is like my favorite bag, but of course it's glitching. I do also have this one, and though it is glitching with the little headset thing, I think this one can actually work because it's not that noticeable on the headset that it's actually glitching. Like it just looks like a kind of black headset thing and I like that. I think this looks really cool. I added in some rings and some nails and now last but not least we're going to do some sneakers. And I think something like this is just perfect. So this is the final sim. Let me know what you guys think about her. I absolutely love how she turned out. She is such a fun looking character. I can so see myself playing with her. Do let me know if you guys want to see this again in the future. I can definitely do it again. This was a lot of fun. But uh, thank you all so so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy today's video, please do consider liking and subscribing to my channel as it really does help me out. And I will see you all in another video. Goodbye everybody! Oh, 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 oh,